I got an Akamichi BX2 cassette deck here. Complained on it is it's playing fast, but when I play it, it's very, very close. This is a 440 hertz tone, and it's coming up at like 442. So we're talking very close to the correct speed, and it's not uh, it's not varying. So this might be a pretty simple one. We're just going to take this one apart and just see if we can get this right on 440. Make it spot on. Now the owner of this thought maybe the belt might need to be replaced, but you know what? The belt is fine because of that. There's no problem with the torque on this belt. This belt is perfect. So we're just going to adjust the motor speed using the motor speed adjustment on the back here. We're going to get that right on to 440.0 if we can. I think it's probably as close as it's going to get. Now we're splitting hairs to try and get that any closer to that. I think that's going to be good enough. If we look at the 3 kilohertz on the other side of the tape, you'll see it's 3.00. And there's very little, if any, flutter. That's sounding excellent. I think that's all we can do on this one. I was thinking it was going to need to be a belt, but... Uh, now looking just like it was just uh, just an adjustment was off a little bit. The complaint was it was playing a little too fast. Well, it was a little bit it was a little bit fast. So put it back on stereo here. For those of you wondering where I plugged the scope in, I'm just plugging. I've just got this is what I'm using. I'm just using a I'm just using a, a BNC to RCA cord. That's all I'm doing to plug my scope in, right? I'm just plugging the scope, for those that you want to know where I'm testing it from, I'm just plugging the scope into the line output and I'm just using channel two on my scope. And I just, basically I use my digital scope for this because it's got a frequency counter built in. So I've got my two scopes, I've got my analog scope, which I use more for looking at uh, the RF envelope from VCR heads, for example, in video, because this this cheap this cheap uh, Unity scope that I've got here is just a piece of crap as far as as looking at complex waveforms. But looking at audio, this is just fine, and looking at digital signals, this one's also fine. It's just complex waveforms like the RF from video heads and uh, and so forth in the DAT machine RF, and and looking at actual video signals, this thing just looks like crap. It just doesn't work. It doesn't have the resolution but for for audio stuff it's perfectly fine that's what I use this one for and uh, I use it for the, the measurements the frequency counter the, the voltage measurements and so forth because it's it's accurate so anyway this one here sounding good I will do a test recording on this one I'm just gonna uh, record from my MP3, so we'll just start recording now. I've zeroed the counter. Make help if I put the right type of tape on. I think it's an SX, it's a high bias tape. Just reset that counter. Okay, uh, that's probably enough.
rewind. It's fast at rewinding and fast forward. There it is. Playback sounds fine to my ears. Noisy in here anyway, but with all the fans and stuff running, it's a warm day. Not as hot as it was last week, but it's still like 25 here in the shop, 26. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this one done. Then I'm going to get a hold of the guy that owns it and let him know that I did not need to replace the belt on this one. Uh, the belt is fine, as you guys saw. It's got lots of torque, so why reinvent the wheel? Thanks for watching.